Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. Our reading for today is found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Chasing the star, finding the king, is the title of this sermon. Scripture described the arrival of wise men or magi in the Jerusalem from the east. Matthew reveals their quest. These wise men are looking for a newborn king of the Jews. They expected to find him because of seeing a specific star rise in the night sky, and they believe him to be an important king. They have come to worship and revere him. This assumption is probably due to the three gifts that are mentioned in Matthew chapter 2 and verse 11. Some scholars speculate the wise men came from the region of Babylon as there was a Jewish community there. The men were likely Gentiles, non-Jews themselves, but they seemed to know Jewish scriptures. They knew about the coming Jewish Messiah. They may have connected the rise of this star with Messiah's birth, in part because of Numbers chapter 24 and verse 17, which says, A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. It is possible that whatever the wise men saw to inspire their quest was due to the scriptures. This special star was a supernatural star that was born to so guide the wise men to the hope of glory. This wise men were looking for a prophesied king that had been born. They followed signs and found him. These wise men were overjoyed to find the Christ at last. Their journey took them at least 60 days of traveling, but they arrived. They worshiped him by bowing and presenting expensive gifts. These gifts presented to Jesus as a baby represented a purpose, gold symbolizing a king, frankincense symbolizing deity, and myrrh symbolizing death. The king of kings came as the son of God, the word, and died on the cross for our sins. This is a tremendous statement. These wise men were very wealthy kings that lacked nothing, that is, materialistic. But they were searching for something, someone that could fill their hearts with everlasting joy. These wise men had waited a long time for this extraordinary event. They saw a star never seen before, and in their hearts they knew the Savior had been born. These wise men did not hesitate, did not think twice in pursuing what they had been waiting for such a long time. Think of the excitement they must have experienced. A new star. They saw it and searched intently for its meaning. These wise men were searching for the true meaning of life. They asked, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? They saw the star. They asked, where was the king? They found him and they worshiped him. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Amazingly, the Jewish people in that time missed the purpose of the star. None of the people of God were looking for it. The Gentiles were the ones to discover 
because they were searching. I was found by those who did not seek me. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 1. The Bible tells us in John chapter 1, verses 11 and 12, He came to his own, but his own received him not. But to all who received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed in his name. The question arises, who are you chasing? Or what are you chasing? The wise men were chasing the true star of life, namely Jesus. They were called wise men because they wanted more than the ordinary life. Jesus is called the bright morning star. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 17. He is the light in the darkness, the light of the world. My friend, do not follow so-called stars of this world. Follow the star that leads you to everlasting life. Walk with the wise and you will become wise. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20. Chasing the star, finding the king. Behold, said Peter, we have left everything to follow you. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 27. Have you left everything to follow Jesus? He is our only hope. May the name of the Lord be praised now and forevermore. Amen.